All right, today I'm going to show you how to take the PlayStation 3 controller and use it on the call online. Now, what OnLive does, sorry about the camera, what OnLive does, it, um, it's a Netflix of games. It, um, it streams games. Make sure you have a good connection. See, right now, of course, this computer cannot run Fear 2, right, or any other high-powered game. As you can see, it's an Acer. Aspire 1. There's my other computer. Now, what you're going to do is, one, you need a program called Motion Joy. This is period. Anything. Now, I already have it installed. Alright. So, we're going to go... And once you install it, it's called DS3 tool. Okay. So as you see right here, that's focus. focus. No, that's not whatever. I will make a tutorial if you're confused on how to make the motion go work. All right. Now, currently, OnLive supports the Xbox 360 controller and a couple other ones. But well, after you have Most Enjoy, um, now you can see the different profiles. You got PlayStation 1, 2, 3. Even this is what you're going to remember using Xbox 360 controller emulator. Right? All right, now you can do vibration testing and all this good stuff. And you can screw it up. <coughs> Take the USB cord. Now, on this computer, I can do Bluetooth with it. Online don't run as great on this one. This one runs perfect. Of course, you're going to plug in a PS3 controller. Excuse me, PlayStation 3 controller. Okay. And then, you got to do this every time. Select the profile. And click Enable. Because if you do... PlayStation 3, for an example, profile. Online is going to say more and more controllers is not going to be supportive. See? We had detected that one of your controllers may not be supportive. Alright. Well, that's when you take it and click the Xbox 360 controller. Now, on live, excuse me, most enjoy. I don't know if it'll work for any other game controllers. You can give it a try. But it's also meant for, <coughs> um, yeah, I think it's meant for the PlayStation 2 controller. But anyway, <coughs> just click that, click Enable, <coughs> and it will install a driver. I think it's going to install it. Right? Now just click Exit. Okay, good. Start on live back. Now, if this says performance issue, ignore it. Now I gotta sign in. I don't know why it kicked me off.
Sometimes it don't. I think not this time. Does it continue? says the 360 controller and other controllers are only compatible PS3 it says the same as the 360 controller this would be a why and so forth. C and then B. B. A. Voila. So there you go. That's just a good example. Hope you enjoy. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll feel free to help you. And yes, finally, Halo 4. Um, name is Chaos. You can add me on online, Steam, even Xfire, NGS, C8 OS. Subscribe and I'll make good videos. Peace.